Is All the right. peasant the only one left? So the peasant is the only buddy, is the only person left. Um, yeah, they're naked. Yep. So that's you. So what are you doing? Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Who are you? Are you peaceful? I'm, I don't know anything about the town. Okay. Um, so as you kind of go and see each other. There's kind of a misty fading effect, and there are now a bunch of other people surrounding you. Not surrounding you, like around, also kind of in peasant's clothes. Did I? You know them. I know them, but did I do it? No. (laughs) There are more copies of you. (laughs) There are just other people, um, and one of them rushes out to you. Overall, I'm so glad you're okay. We were so worried about you. And then turns to you guys and says, thank you for rescuing them. Yes, okay. that's what we did. <laughs> we sure didn't set her on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Him on fire. Okay. When do I have to make pile of noise? Just for doing maneuvers? I think if you're flying... Above hovering range or whatever. That's why I took just driving because I didn't plan on actually flying. <laughs> you have a jet plane. Yeah, but it has a ceiling. It doesn't go very high. Um, I'm all over the place. Also, does moving and shooting count as a multi action penalty? Or is it just like shooting and stabbing? All I know is I got to cast two spells and move last turn. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I only have 135 shots of my way back. How many are you? <laughs> Three. <laughs> 2d10 plus 4, 10 armor piercing. Three shots per round. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That would kill me. I think that's the idea, though. It's supposed to kill a lot of things. Also, it's mega damage. It's average 14. Yeah, average of 14 to two arm, or 10 armor piercing. Hmm. <laughs> I was recording with uh, my friends a lot, not a long time ago, like months ago. And uh, one dude, we got to 3 p.m. his time and he hadn't eaten yet, so he's like, I'm just going to have some chips. I'm really sorry. <laughs> so the rest of the entire time, you could hear just. <laughs> not very loud, but it was present. <laughs> So do we need these anymore? Nope. <coughs> yeah, I'm collecting them just here on your like monitor. Correct. Daily. Inspiration. <laughs> That's Arctic, yeah. yeah. Well, she tried to find like a color scheme for like tundra armor, and so she searched tundra armor, and it's just a bunch of Toyota oh. tundras. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. If you want the official color scheme, did I show you the color scheme? I, I believe it is I white to try with white highlights. And then I think I gave up. Well, black that's not and really slightly helpful. darker. Black. Oh, here, something like this. Yes, this is what it's yeah. supposed hmm. to look like. Well, that's basically the same. Yeah. White. Gray and a white. Little, there'll be like a little Canadian flag or something on there somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doesn't have you know, to the be Canadian an flag, flag is really easy to draw. I believe it'll be. A like... blotch of red is fine. <laughs> there is a red circle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the red dot. Do I have to put one on Laura's, like too? Laura? No, I'm a dragon. Okay. 
Not a Canadian dragon. Does one go on mine? Nor is person. I'm a civilian, but it's... Your armor would have it on. Because it's, yeah, a military issue, I guess. Yeah. Just make your own custom armor later if you want. Part of it. One of, just spend one of your minor upgrades. You can remove the black. <laughs> <laughs> instead of a minor upgrade, or... Instead of a minor... Can I use a dosimeter just no, to... <laughs> The reason I requisitioned these things is not to use them, it's to have <laughs> parts. <laughs> what am I going to turn this to similar into? Oh my God. That's a chance. There's also the contact here. Alright, so what happens next? Counter. What counter? I'm getting out of the encounter we were in. All right, so, um, yeah, so a person who looks like they're in charge, an older woman, comes towards Oberon and says, I'm glad you're so safe. You're safe. We were so worried about you. Mm, you don't need to worry, Pussy. <clears throat> Apparently not. You seem to take care of those uh, bandits quite handily when trapped. Yeah, can I be an inconsequential <laughs> NPC? Sure. Okay, let me know when you want me to start talking. Okay. Here, you can be Miranda. Yeah, you can continue to be Miranda. If you oh, I can't play. I just want to say that <laughs> you were. Well, you can be her voice. Okay. She's just still... off behind a building. She's right a red now. shirt. <laughs> a red shirt. <laughs> I, she actually is a wild card. She's not a very good one. Well, she's not for. She's for being useful. Anyways. There's a jack on the floor. Um. In the class is also not great. <laughs> She's a boat person. <laughs> Level 5 boater. Yeah, so I said that these guys helped and pointed them. Yes, thank you very much for rescuing. Um, I helped more than most. <laughs> the, no, I didn't. <laughs> those bandits have been plaguing us for weeks. What do they want? Well, they keep coming when we when we faded. So <coughs> when we're gone, they can't we can't do anything and they Yes. When you what? Faded. We're this oh. Is, this is a fade town. She looks at you kind of like. Was it a fade town when you were here? No. <laughs> That's so a new thing. She looks at you strangely, and then she. Maybe fading doesn't affect them either. Takes kind of a closer look at Tim specifically, and seems to be like. Hmm. Come with me. I, we have much to discuss. Yes, let's all go with her. I don't want to go anymore. I'm going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back that turn. <laughs> <laughs> we need someone to go back and report. We've observed, and now we need to report. Can we just radio in? We don't have to physically talk. Like, go there. What is this, an old MMO? <laughs> <laughs> um, your radios don't... The range is not... Um, Super great. Most miles. miles. <laughs> yes. So mine's better. <laughs> My radio's better. Yeah. So the range is pretty good, but it's not really necessarily what you're used to um, pre rex Partially because there's no satellite support, but also there's more like background radiation. So radios don't have as much of a range as you would have expected. So you can reach the base from here. No, you might be too far away. No, it's you're like right on the edge of, of the range at the village. Okay. But like if you go for it, it's like, um, yeah. So she kind of um, motions you to follow her into um, this building here. Everybody else, kind of the other villagers, kind of start milling about. They go and look at the damage caused. And, um, you can also. Yeah, you can go with her, basically. I'm going to ask her if she knows them. Like, if they're old friends. Um, who are we? So you're being over. Yes. Okay. Um, no, come come, come with us, and we, we'll discuss once we've uh, <laughs> got a little bit of privacy. Okay. So, you go inside the building. Um, it's just uh, <laughs> five, six of you now? Yeah. Um, 
and she addresses herself uh, to Tim. Max. Um, my name is is Sylvia Fukuma. I'm the chief of uh, Adawa mm -hmm. Piscat. Um, I see something strange about you. I recognize the symbol on your armor. And I I'm painted again. <laughs> <laughs> and I <laughs> sense that you have a bit of the mystic way about you. A bit, yep. A bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I don't know you. I don't recognize you. But I recognize oh. the symbol that you wear. And you don't know about Fade Towns. So tell me, are you not from around here? We're from around here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not I, from around now, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I grew up here, but it was a long time ago. Was it? We also don't know how long time's passed. Right? Well, the scientist you, guy said yeah. 300 years. You have a ballpark years. estimate that it's like 300-ish. Okay. So you know it's been a long time. We know at least 300 years ago. Okay. <coughs> it's more like it's an estimate. It's based it's on the stars. Yeah, it's not like it's not 250, it's not 350, it's somewhere in the 300 zone. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you are. Um, she looks at you and asks, Are you from Akalitsky? the name of the base. It'd be like, hey, the cap. <laughs> <laughs> loud, loud. Yeah. You, uh... Why would you say that? Yeah. <laughs> well, there has been a legend passed down to the village um, that many years ago, during the coming of the rifts, there used to be a great base, a great military base, just across the bay on a large island. And many of our people... Um, got there to safety, but shortly after the rifts came, they disappeared and we never saw them again. But it was always foretold that the Akimitsuki would one day return and, and bring salvation for our people. <gasps> salvation, that makes us good guys. <laughs> I mean, if we're from there. <laughs> yes, we are from there. <laughs> That's good. <I> think. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Where's the salvation you promised to bring? Yeah. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> You're all free. <laughs> so, what happened? You've been gone for so long. We never thought anybody would return. We left a note. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I <laughs> that wasn't even horrible. Yeah, we disappeared. We don't know what happened. Big deal. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot has changed since you've been gone. Nobody knows for sure, but it's been at least 300 years since the coming of the rifts, as we call it, when magic returned to Earth and changed the face of the planet. We, uh, to answer your original question, this is what's known as a fade town. So when you are near sources of magical power, like the Nexus point that's not you. Oh. <laughs> the Nexus that's in uh, just off the shore. I'm a source of magical power. It uh, sometimes has a strange effect on people and towns nearby. For us, that manifests as every week or two, we all just kind of fade out of reality for you know a couple hours. Um, Where do you go? We're still there. We're just kind of... <coughs> Incorporeal and invisible. You can't interact with the world. I use my dosimeter. <laughs> <laughs> but nor can the world interact with us. We don't need to eat or, or sleep or drink, um, but we also can't do anything. So for the last few weeks, um, there's been a group of bandits that have been coming by, raiding from and stealing our supplies when we've been. We've been gone. We caught them a few times when we faded back in, but we've only been able to chase them off. And they've been getting better and better at figuring out when we are gone and coming and taking more of our things. How come Oberon didn't fade? So Oberon has only been here for about a week or two now. We uh, 
we, we found her um, outside the village. Him outside the village. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the girl. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Yes. Yeah. Oh. And, and, um, <laughs> yeah, we had hoped that she could simply come and live with us, um, but it appears that. He. I can be a girl. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be really difficult for you. I'll have to pick a new name, but... You can still be Oberon. 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 <laughs> I'll be a boy. It's cool. You can if you want. Being a boy is cool. We'll just correct Paul every time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? Paul's a little baby. I'll take it from you if you don't want it. No, I have to keep drinking it so I eventually like it. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's not what whiskey is about. That's what it's about. <laughs> what it's all about. I'm sure you guys didn't like it the first time you had it. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, first time, yeah. the first time I had the best whiskey in the world, I did like it. Yeah, well, <laughs> not the first time you had <laughs> This isn't your first whiskey ever, no. and you started with the best, and you don't like I've it? I actually had, like, two bottles of Crown Royal in total, but I didn't think about myself. <laughs> like, this morning. <laughs> yeah, no, Just in preparation. <laughs> so it's, like, ten years ago? <laughs> yeah, so it's been a very slow process. Um, yeah, so we, we took in Oberon, um, hoping to help him. Um, yep and provide guidance because Oberon is young is a young dragon. Oh, I wasn't going to tell them right away. Oh, sorry. Tim knows I that... I think I pretty much know. You know I'm magical. He also knows you're not in your current your natural shape. Even when you said that, I didn't clue in. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's Laura's character. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't. You're also sick as a dog. I know, I'm yeah, a little out of it. That's fair. Yeah, so um, dragons, <coughs> young dragons are very powerful, but they're also, they don't know a lot when they're born. Um, so we, I had hoped to help her and raise her to become a good Him. dragon. Him. <laughs> uh, but apparently the fade does not affect her. Him. And <laughs> <laughs> Although I learned how to the do it. The military is just bad at gender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't describe gender to things. Yeah. Um, I think maybe that's how I learned the incorporeal spell. Yeah. I stepped in. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we, uh, unfortunately, I don't think he can stay with us because of that. But seeing you <laughs> guys return. The gender neutral guys. The gender neutral guys. <laughs> um, Wait, are you sending me away? Would you like to go with them? You would be able to see the world. Yeah, we will explore the whole world. I feel like, use somebody <laughs> like you. We would be the most qualified people to raise a baby dragon. <laughs> <laughs> How many unicorns oh. have you lost lately? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Then yes, I want to leave you. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. Do you guys do anything fun? Well, we yeah. Those guys. I have a boat. Don't need to brag. I've got this thing you put on the water. It's a boat. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't tie it up. It's floating away. <laughs> Gotta go, bye. <laughs> Jump on your jet bike to go get your boat. Be right back. Well, what, what are you... You're back here now. What are you trying to do? We are on recon. That sounds really fun, doesn't it? <laughs> we don't know anything about this new world, and we are trying to figure it out. It would be a good experience to yeah. see the world learn to become a, a good dragon with these fine examples <laughs> <laughs> and this one can teach me more about fire. But you did set her on fire. I did. <laughs> sure. You want to know about fire? <laughs> okay. No 
Okay. Um, yeah, so oh, we, those were not the only bandits. There's a larger group of them. Uh, they have a hideout south of here somewhere. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about the world or what's happening nearby. <coughs> um, you, what, what are you guys, what, what is your plan? What are you gonna do? I'm just investigating the area. Okay, well, they're nearby. There's not a lot where um, it's kind of a quiet wilderness up here, which is why a lot of us have chosen to stay here rather than go to the bigger cities down south. Um, there is some kind of mining town quite a ways west of here. Um, I believe if you follow the ley line that intersects this this village. Uh, yep. Ley line? So <laughs> ley lines are what we call the magical lines of energy that kind of cross the globe. Um, you know anything about this? You may no. notice that you oh, feel kind of more magical here than you do otherwise. Oh, is there an actual ley line here in the village? Yes. Okay. Typically so I wasn't actually so running out of power. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... This, there's a ley line nexus uh, right off the coast, um, and a line intersect that goes from that nexus to. Uh, I wish my map was working. I don't see it. Actually, I do it on the Let me just show you. I saved it. Which maybe I did not. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crap, bro. I like these sugar cookies. <laughs> okay, so there are ley lines. And they go places. <laughs> They're real things. They're soups real. <laughs> Yokes my goats. They are hella existent. Yeah. Okay, um, I can just free hand it. That sounds nice. I wish I could freehand it with my cool draw. Okay, so there's a ley line that goes. No. <laughs> it goes pew? I'm new. I'm new. I'm new. It's not doing anything. Okay. I'm going to have to mirror my script again. <laughs> I like. like I, I was laughing at the sound that the ley line made. <laughs> the ley line goes. Yeah, but it was also like ten miles wide at least. Also, I have one color and one size. Okay. Um... So, using my awesome art skills, mm -hmm. there's one that goes kind of like that, and the other one that goes kind of like spot. that. Yeah. I think I'm just going to make it a mask Ooh. over his eyes instead of mm -hmm. like trying to dot yeah. the eyes, mm -hmm. which I don't so know the how town's right at the X. Basically. The town, I mean, I drew it poorly. The town's like right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there is... <laughs> Following this ley line, there uh, is, I believe, a mine of some kind here. And then there's another smaller ley line that intersects in that area. And then there's another mine up here. Or the town is there somewhere. <clears throat> so why are the mines and towns on ley lines? seems to happen to be how it worked out. So there is also um, Is there still a Canada-US border? Mm -hmm. uh, no. <laughs> is there still a Canada or a US? Not really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so the Canadian Empire uh, and the American Empire are both no longer a thing. Mm. 
our books and stories tell us that they used to be a quite powerful force. Um, it's all Trump. Goodness. But that's all gone now. Um, <laughs> now chase that whiskey with some beer. Yeah. <laughs> Wash it down with some beer. <laughs> oh, <that's good. sighs> and there's the coalition, which I'm supposed to stay away from. Yes. Yeah, who are those guys? So the coalition is a group of human supremacists and anti anti magic people. Um, they don't sound nice. They're not very nice. They some people like them because they are uh, <coughs> you could they are are they communists? Protecting humanity. Make Earth great again. What do you know about communist or Trump? <laughs> <laughs> I have a D4 in history. <laughs> no, she did. <laughs> I have a D4 in history. <laughs> so the coalition, um, yeah, it's a group of human supremacists that are <coughs> very much. Um, about making humanity great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the best way to put it. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, they're like, <laughs> not, they're literal Nazis. They're literal Nazis. <laughs> Slash Trump. Yeah, well, yeah, also literal Nazis. Little Nazis. These are Americans. Um, so they Apologies are. Quite, to any Americans they're ever. probably <laughs> the most, most Americans powerful. <laughs> they're the most powerful group um, in North America. Very technology based. They have um, their biggest city is called Chi Town. That's their capital and the biggest state. And it's like a mega city. Oh, oh they're actual here. groups, not oh, they're far south. Yeah. Yes, but the they uh, oh, okay. also so have um, uh, <clears throat> another like, state, I guess. Territory or whatever that they call uh, Ironheart, and that kind of claims this area here. Uh, it's not as big as Chi Town, but it is more like Chi Heart, like Town. physically larger, but not more dense. Um, yeah, it's very spread out. They do have a mega city um, kind of is in Ironheart itself. Um, but they, they claim a lot of territory around there. There's a lot of resources that they uh, mine. But it's not as <laughs> densely populated as the actual Chai Town area down here. Um, there's also um, the state of Free Quebec, kind of up here, which had been a part of the coalition states until just recently. Um, and they've kind of decided to part ways. Percentage. She's showing us all this on her high tech display. Well, you guys have computers. <laughs> <laughs> we have maps. Yeah. You are a computer. Yeah. <laughs> so those are the kind of the, <laughs> that's what the coalition and human supremacists look like. Um, there is there are some magical communities. There's some magical communities down here. Um, and the largest one of Tolkien is kind of in this area. Very large, powerful, magical. Um, it's Tolkien, not Tolkien. <laughs> <laughs> Different. <laughs> okay. Um, mm -hmm. And there's also some kind of independent kingdoms. In this area. Here. But most of... Uh, the wilderness, or most of Canada, is kind of an empty wilderness. There's not a lot um, in this area over in kind of here. There's <clears throat> some kind of alien bugs that are encroaching a lot of territory. Kind of <coughs> news. Um, so I think our mission was just to find out about this shoreline. <laughs> <laughs> so there's not a lot on the shoreline here. Uh, I think we're the only actual village. Um, you might find some ruins coming down here somewhere. Uh, I believe there's a kind of orc 
Tower? That's not in ours. That's in the other guys. Are they gonna need support though? <laughs> they need it, they'll call for it. I say we got our intel, let's just head back. <laughs> You're back in time for dinner. We have to complete our mission. We did. We found out about the entire we didn't complete our patrol. Oh shush. Do you have any quest map questions for work folks? That's basically that's kind of what things look like at a high level. It's, they said the the raiders are from the south. Yeah. So How far south? Not that far south, like here ish. Oh okay. <clears throat> Oh, so we're going to run into those guys again. If you could take care of them, that would help us <coughs> a great deal. Because they will otherwise keep it. Side out. quest. <laughs> well, okay. you should probably scout it out and then of come course. back with more than just Four scouting. Five people. Yeah. Well, can't the village help? Can you help? No. I hear you're a dragon. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I'm probably a dragon. No. <laughs> no, probably I can help. Can you remind me what insignia I have to watch out for on those guys, the red ones, the coalition? You <laughs> told me I could tell who they were. They were skulls. 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 You'll know them. You'll know them. <laughs> like what are skulls? skulls? They have like an armor that's like skulls. Not... What do their skulls look like? Well, normal human skulls. <laughs> It's a dog question. There's alien bugs it's true. around here. Yeah, it's not just humans around here. It's yeah, and dragon. I wonder what her skull looks like. His skull looks like. I'm doing it too. Yeah. <laughs> it's the it's atmosphere. It's this village. It's more northern than kind of where they are. Not that we know of. Um, it's mostly wasteland. There may be things up there, but not certainly not a lot of things. Uh, it's kind of cold. And there's a lot of space down south where it's a little warmer, so people don't tend to live up here unless they really <coughs> like the quiet. Is the like ecosystem the same as it? Well, I guess you guys should ask this. i it's the same since I've been here. Mm -hmm. Um, it's colder. There's more snow and harsher winters. The temperatures have gone down a little bit. Um, also, the sea levels have. Um, risen in some places. I mean, people aren't really sure why, because of the cold. Uh, well, okay, people know why. It's because there's another continent. And it's called Atlantis. <laughs> um, Ooh. Where's that? Let's go there. Uh, not on this map. It's far away and full of aliens. I wouldn't recommend you go. Yeah. No. It's a scary town. Yeah. Sounds like some place that the curious would want to go, though. <laughs> Maybe we can go there someday. <laughs> what happened to like Europe? And... Uh, we don't have a lot of communication with Europe. Um, other people might know. We here haven't really. Coalition would probably know. It might. It might. Uh, yeah, it like. I mean, flight they... is not common now. Like low level flight, but flying yeah. long distances. If you fly too high, space aliens kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you're stuck with low level flight. Yeah, this, like crossing the sea is super dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, also dangerous. there's like sea monsters that will jump out and kill you and shit like that too. Yeah, it's very isolated. Oh. Um, there's also no like internet or phone system or anything. It's yeah. all like people physically Traveling. passing yeah. messages but in person. <laughs> so what made all of the aliens and stuff come here? No one knows. The rifts. Yeah. The rifts <laughs> showed up and shit went south. Basically. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so rifts still happen, not as much as they used to. <laughs> it tastes so terrible. It doesn't taste terrible. It's yeah. delicious. Yes, no. You certainly can. Yeah, can. I oh, yeah it would be a perfect that. time to try it. You won't even taste it. Yeah. It might kill yeah. all that bacteria It'll too. Make you feel better. Just do a shot, real yeah. quick. <laughs> no, don't drink the rest of it. That's not no, that much. No, that's, that's not a lot. That's barely a mouth. That's like a yeah. But you're just trying to get rid of yours. Well, I'm trying to encourage Laura to enhance her palate. <laughs> <laughs> just like you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's gross. <laughs> Well, just keep drinking it. I, I do not understand why you. Why you guys even buy 
Was I didn't buy it. My parents got it for me when they were in the But you said you've time. gone through two bottles in, well, in 10 years. But yeah. yeah. I guess the other crown royal just with the bags. bags. I like the bags. <laughs> <laughs> also, these glasses. Yeah, they came with this, the... I bought one a bottle of crown royal to get a bag and two of these glasses, which was totally <laughs> worth it. I use them all the time. Okay, but that legit cleared out my throat. You want some more? <laughs> <laughs> that was easier drinking this. Yeah. <laughs> was it easier? Vodka. Cough syrup. Yeah, that's that's basically what cough syrup is. It's alcohol. It's medicine, I guess. My head still hurts, but yeah, like my throat is clear. More turns into an alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Just when she's sick, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so rifts um, still do occasionally happen and dump monsters into the world. It makes drinking my tea really hot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's much less um, prevalent than when... <coughs> than acro this acrobat a reader, DC. That, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Stay away from Minecraft. Avoid as much as possible. <laughs> well, I didn't <laughs> just to make sure we're on time what time does everyone have to leave like hard 2.30 is probably when I should go yeah. so 45 oh. minutes yeah. we felt uh, a little bit time not too much <clears throat> bam yeah got back okay so yes um so these ones have to eat like you, right? Yes, most people eat. That's a valid point to worry about. Can I eat? You can. You have to. I know I don't have to, but to keep up appearances. If you would like to continue to pretend to be human, you should eat when the rest of them eat. And sleep. We do that too. I think dragons just sleep. I don't know. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't need to eat or drink, but I do need to sleep. Like some rest. So, um, that's what she really has to say. You can go now. <laughs> please don't take care of our bandits. Yes, please take care of the bandits if you could. They would be very helpful to us. Cool. Are they going to give you anything? They gave them a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like supplies. Well, they had a lot of their supplies stolen. You could potentially get some of um, the weapons that the bandits dropped, yeah. but they also would kind of probably prefer to have them because they don't have a lot of weapons. Don't if worry you go them. get find some more bandits somewhere, maybe so. you could have their weapons. <laughs> So the real question I have then is, do we just head south? Should we go back to the base to get reinforcements to come south, or...? We're on a scouting mission, so we should scout yes. south. And then if it's like ten dudes, we don't need reinforcements. Well... Oh, yeah, we just need a railgun. So, <laughs> but, yeah, we should scout it out <coughs> and figure out what we need to yes. you know, report back. Okay. We should... To the Southatorium! Know, Right. Hunk these people up so that we can Do you guys establish some sort of relationship. Like as a dragon? Maybe not right now. <laughs> it is generally a good idea to keep it a secret. Um, you can, I mean, I guess you could show them in here and hope there's nobody else in here. And it's a big building. But mm. try oh, not to show them up. You can show them. Sorry, it's okay. But it scares people, so I don't want them to be scared. Well, if we know it's coming, we won't be scared. But at the same time... But I mean, if I have to, and fight. And then you get scared. That's true. You get scared the first time you see them. Oh. Sure. Dragging it up. Oh, okay. Dear. Quit dragon tail. I am a pretty cute dragon, actually. Dragon time! <laughs> no, blue dragon. So you do have to make a fear check. To do what? Or to avoid doing what? <laughs> Being scared? I don't know what fear? that means. Fear, I mean, it doesn't really do anything not in combat, so we're going to say you... Just, we all recover fine. You maybe some of you were scared. There's a you dragon were... in here. <laughs> oh my god, where did you come from? <laughs> You're standing right where that man who said he was gonna turn into a dragon was. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Did there you squish go. him? I just thought <laughs> that could have been bad later. Yeah. 
this scene right there. Um, That's pretty cool. <coughs> now I'm back here. Yeah. Can I have clothes? Yeah, we now should. I'm back here. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> find you some spare clothes. Um, I can give you a weapon maybe. If you want. You don't have a weapon. Uh, I'm better. For miniature. Well, you? I mean, shooting, fighting, yeah, maybe. I just have good unarmed damage. Well, I got mostly for show as well. Decorative yes. <laughs> the other thing is, if you're a person and you go around punching other people in half, they might be suspicious. And they wouldn't rub well, your miniature. Be dead. Yeah. It's really hard, but like you can touch your miniature now. Ooh, thank you. Oh, it's Plus, good. I mean, yeah, there are super strength humans. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Cyborgs, juicers. I mean, we don't know that. No, we don't know. Okay, well, why don't you give me a something I can use strength with? Like they all sticks. have fibro knives. Here's a knife. <laughs> fibro knife. You're not going to ever use your knife. arms, too, if, you, if they want to give you a pistol. I don't really... I mean, I do have good shooting. I just... My damage with... Punching? Anything, yeah, with anything I can use strength with is better. Yes. Jonathan, you can use your knife. My, my pistol only does 2d6. I don't know if the knife is actually much better than your melee. 2d6. It's a d6 on top of strength, so. so what do you get? But you get four like, AP. Yeah, I get That's why. a d4 plus two. <clears throat> but no AP. Yes. Correct. Yeah, so you're probably better off. Okay, so while Laura is writing that down, what do you guys want to do? Let's head surf. All right. So you head back to bandit camp and then the fort. <coughs> All right, so you head back to your um, jet bikes. Um, good thing you brought enough to mm -hmm. <laughs> for everybody to have a seat. Um, <laughs> well, you you just hop on Miranda's. Yeah, I'll join Miranda. Miranda's bike. <laughs> Is Oberon as heavy? She gets the weight of he? a human feet when he becomes okay. a human form. <laughs> you get on it's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. What's he doing so far? <laughs> That's good old Gern Blanston. <laughs> Go that way! <laughs> Charge! Use your bodies as shields for me. Says <laughs> <laughs> the man in the power armor. <laughs> I don't want to get this thing dinged. Do you want it? Do you want your like miniature to be really shiny, like this kind of silver, or do you want it to be mostly bland gray? Bland gray. Really? Yeah. It's easier when I work with more colors. Kind of aren't, aren't you like yeah, reflective? It's, it's not. Yeah. Whatever. Give it some accents. You can do some cool white shadowy stuff. <laughs> you can make my guy entirely shiny if you want. Okay. Just boring the paint with gray. Yes. <laughs> Just gray. Boring gray. <laughs> you can paint other miniatures too. This morning he started purring really loudly, and we think it's because the kittens purr pretty <laughs> loudly. Yeah. So well, you've got like a satchel of your gun holsters. Can be yeah, brown. Awesome. Yeah, it's really. <laughs> it can be pink. <laughs> I started spraying them when they went on my face in the night last night. Mm -hmm. I made them go away. You have your holster. Yeah. What color is that? I don't know. What about black? Sure. I like that. 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 I like that.